Hello everyone, to create this carved out text effect, we are going to take this wood texture background, which has already been converted into a fusion clip. Let's just take that to the fusion page. And now let's first of all, copy this media in node, and then we're going to paste it. Now let's copy this new media in node and then paste instance. Then what we're going to do is to bring in a text node that's connected to this first media in uh, node here. And then let's go to the text box. We're going to write our text and then let's also bring up the size of the text a little bit there to fill up the screen. Now, what we're going to do next is to copy this text node and then we're going to paste instance again. Now, let's connect this instance text node to the instance media in node. And now let's go back to the instance text node. Let's go to the shading tab. Then let's go to the appearance option there, right click. And then in the menu, let's select the instance. This will allow us to switch to the text outline uh, setting here without affecting the other text node. Now let's go to thickness, do the same thing, the instance, and then we can adjust the thickness uh, to however we want it. Uh, so now what we're going to do is to uh, go to open FX. Let's uh, bring in the emboss node here, and then we're going to place it after uh, the instance media in node. Let's come to the emboss style option and choose emboss over. And then we're going to bump up the power setting here. You're going to see this is really going to accentuate the embossed effect. And we can also adjust the angle setting there too, depending on how you want the embossed effect uh, to look. But uh, the next thing we're going to do is to use this entire text as a mask. So let's uh, connect this merge node to the original media in node here as a mask. Then let's uh, go to the media in node. Let's go to setting and let's change it to apply mask inverted. So now let's uh, convert this uh, original media in node back to the merge node as a foreground. Now, as you can see, this effect is starting to slowly come together. So the next thing we're going to do is to bring a drop shadow node, connect that to the original media in node. We're going to bring the shadow strength all the way up. Let's also bring the drop distance down. Uh, bring down the blur setting there too. We're also going to adjust the drop angle. So the goal here, guys, is to create some definition, uh, you know, for uh, this text effect, but bringing out the shadow. Another thing we can do is to copy this shadow, a drop shadow node, and then simply paste it. This, as you can see, is really going to double the uh, shadow strength, just create a much thicker, like a darker shadow, bring out more definition for this effect. All right, so let's get to some fine tuning, guys. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do any of these. This is just something I think that can take your effect to the next level. So let's come to the instance text node first. Let's adjust the thickness. And once that is done, what we're going to do is to bring a, a brightness and contrast node and connect it to the background text here. And let's come to this node and just experiment with the gain left gamma and the contrast setting here. Uh, play with it and uh, the goal here is just to make kind of this part of the effect stand out a little bit more and once that's done what we can do is to bring in another brightness and contrast note and then connect that to uh, the foreground text here let's do the same thing let's just play with these settings uh, play with gain left gamma contrast uh, and the goal once again is just to make the uh, the this part of the effect look at uh, stand out a little bit from the rest of this uh, video, uh, this clip. But once again, this is highly dependent on your individual preference. This is something we can do to accentuate this effect a little bit more. Another thing we can do here is to create another layer of shadow. So what we're going to do is to bring a drop shadow node and then connect it to the foreground text here. So let's once again, bring the shadow strength all the way up. Let's bring down the drop distance, uh, the blur setting there too. And then let's also adjust the drop angle setting. Uh, now, once all that is done, you guys can see that uh, if we were to turn this um, node on and off, uh, you're going to see how this is going to just create this very subtle layer of shadow uh, within the text, around the text outline here. And one last thing we need to do is just to use the background text here as a mask so that the shadow doesn't protrude uh, beyond the text outline. All right, guys, so this is uh, pretty much it. Again, there are a lot of things you can do to bring out the definition of this text. But uh, overall, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, I will see you next time.